Hey there, Coach Darren here at Fit Track Coaching, where we exist to help busy parents and professionals over the age of 40 become happier, healthier, and stronger by helping them to develop healthy and sustainable eating and exercise habits, all done from the comfort of their homes. And so today I would like to talk about the A in Fit Track, which is accountability, and how to hold yourself accountable to your own health and fitness goals. Of course, many folks out there have health and fitness goals that for whatever reason or reasons they've been unable to reach uh, and so today I'm going to give you five awesome tips that are going to help you hold yourself accountable to your own health and fitness goals. But before I get into that, make sure that you like this video and subscribe to our channel so that you can stay up to date on all the ways that FitTrack can help you stay happy, healthy, and strong at home. All right, let's go ahead and jump in. Okay, so tip number one on how to hold yourself accountable to your own health and fitness goals is to put things on your schedule. Folks out there oftentimes use different scheduling uh, apps, things like Google Calendar or just Apple Calendar, to make sure that they're staying uh, in line with the things that they have planned out by any given day, any given week, etc. Right? Uh, but what happens uh, frequently is everything gets scheduled except for the things that are important for people to reach their health and fitness goals, like meal prepping and exercising. So let me give you an example of what I mean. Uh, imagine if you had a 6 to 7 p.m. block every Wednesday scheduled out months in advance. Every single Wednesday is a repeatable uh, item on your schedule. That way you know that that hour is going to be committed to something that's going to help you reach your goals and you'll have to schedule other things around that because inevitably life is going to happen and you'll find yourself keeping on track to things that are being scheduled. So one of the best ways to hold yourself accountable to your own health and fitness goals is to put those healthy activities onto your schedule and make sure you follow it. Okay, tip number two on how to hold yourself accountable to your own health and fitness goals is to use alarms. You see every single day what happens, you wake up given your alarm clock. Well, you could also use your alarm clock to remind you of other healthy activities throughout the day that can keep you on track. So for example, imagine setting an alarm on your phone or your stopwatch, whatever it may be, that reminds you to drink from your refillable water bottle every single day at 1 p.m. It also reminds you to refill that refillable water bottle every single day. Now you have an alarm and a system in place that's gonna remind you and keep you on track to doing those healthy things uh, throughout your days, weeks, and months. They're gonna help you uh, stay accountable to your own health and fitness goals. So tip number two, use alarms. All right, so tip number three on how to hold yourself accountable to your own health and fitness goals is to use a partner. People don't like to let people down. So what you could do is use an accountability partner to make sure that you're doing the things that are important for you to reach your goals. Let me give you a couple of examples. Uh, you could uh, commit to uh, going on a walk around the, the block with your significant other or spouse. You can commit to taking a stress break at work with one of your coworkers. You can even commit to doing fun activities like food prepping with your kids. Any way you can incorporate other people into your healthy activities that are gonna help you reach your goals is a great way to hold yourself accountable towards reaching those health and fitness goals. All right, tip number four, in order for you to stay on track towards your health and fitness goals is to use if-then statements, right? So what I mean by that is, okay, if I work out five days this week, then I will insert rewarding activity. And I don't mean if I worked out five days this week, then I'm gonna go eat at a buffet and gorge myself an ice cream, more so along the lines of something that's going to not detract from your health and fitness goal. So another quick example, if I eat slowly uh, until I'm 80% full for 80% of my meals this week, then I'm gonna go buy that awesome new suit that I saw at the department store the other day. Now, of course, you don't want to always uh, create if-then statements that are gonna cost you money. Uh, another example could be if I work out three days this week, then I'm going to uh, watch three different football games this Sunday. So setting up if-then statements where you're able to commit to the front part of it, uh, to reward yourself on the back part of it is a great way for you to keep yourself accountable to your own health and fitness goals. All right, and the fifth and final tip that I have for you to help you keep yourself accountable to your own health and fitness goals is to hire a coach. Now, I might be a little bit biased because I am here at FitTrack Coaching and I am Coach Darren, but uh, that is key because coaches have experience in helping people just like you overcome obstacles that are frequently uh, you know, encountered on any health and fitness journey. So 
the best and main tip that I have for you to keep yourself accountable to your health and fitness goals is to hire a coach that's going to help you so that you don't have to do things by yourself. All right, well, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully, you got some good tidbits of information from this video. If you did, make sure to share this video with somebody else that you think could also use the info in this video. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so that you can stay up to date on all the ways that FitTrack coaching can help you stay happy, healthy, and strong at home as well. And if you're interested in working with a coach here at FitTrack Coaching, make sure you check down below in this video's description for a link that uh, you can use to schedule a call with us so that we can figure out if we're a good fit to work together. All right, thanks so much. Stay happy and healthy. Catch you next time.